What's up guys, I'm Steven from TechSteveHD.com, making technology easier. Now, I made a video recently on the AirPod 2s not realizing that they can be connected to all kinds of other devices. And thanks to Yazer and Carlos, I figure out how to do it and I'm gonna show you how to connect it to some tablets as well as your Amazon Echo units, your Google's Home units, and some Android devices. So sit back and relax and let me tell you all about it. So to connect these AirPod 2s to any device, there's a button on the back, just press and hold it down for about 10 seconds until the front LED blinks. And once it starts blinking, it's ready to pair to a device. This process is gonna be the same for anything you wanna to connect to a Bluetooth. And yes, it'll work on just about any Bluetooth device because it does support up to Bluetooth 5.0. So the first device I'm gonna show you how to connect it to is an Amazon Fire tablet. All you wanna do is drag your finger down from the top, then press the settings button, press wireless and Bluetooth, press Bluetooth, and then press on pair a Bluetooth device. Once the AirPod pops up, press on it, and now it's connected. It's that easy. Now I'm gonna take a listen to it and see how well they sound against the iPhones. So I'm gonna tell you, this tablet has a very teeny sound, but these ear pods really brought it up to the next level, concert style. I mean, things sound really good on this unit. Now I thought you can change tracks by tapping the side here, and it was able to go forward, but it wasn't able to go backwards. The next example is I'm gonna show you how to connect the AirPod 2 to an older Android device. Now here I have the Galaxy S9 and it worked fine on that. And I have a older Cricut uh, LG phone. And here I have the original Nexus by Google. So let's start off with the LG phone. Drag your finger from the top and then press on the menu. Go ahead and press Bluetooth. And then press search. As soon as you see AirPods, press on it. And boom, it connected right away. And also connected for phone calls as well as media functions. Now let's disable that and try it on the Nexus. And from the older Nexus unit, drag your finger down from the top twice, hit the menu button, then press Bluetooth, and there's the AirPods. Easy as that, they're connected. Now with this setup, you'll be able to listen to all your music, your movies, everything right off the AirPods. The next device I'm going to show you how to connect is on an Apple computer. Unfortunately, I don't have a Windows computer with Bluetooth at the moment, but the concept is the same. From your main desktop, hit the Apple logo and then hit System Preferences. Now you can press on Bluetooth and it'll start scanning for Bluetooth devices. Now there's a Bluetooth menu right here at the top on Apple computers, but you can turn it off and on by hitting the switch right here. And what that allows you to do is get to Bluetooth a lot quicker. Once the computer scan and find the AirPods, go ahead and press on it to connect. And now it's connected. Now, since I have an Apple computer, it will pull up the battery life right there. And if you press options, you can have it set up to switch automatically to AirPods to use the Siri detection as well. Next, I'm gonna show you how to set up the AirPods on an iPad. Now, the interesting thing is, if you actually set these up on another Apple device, it actually remembers right there. So let me give you an example. If I press on the computer I just set up and then open the case, it connects automatically. Now, if you set up the Siri command, you can use it to change tracks. If not, you can double tap on one of the earpieces to change it to the next track. If you don't want to connect to the Mac computer directly that you set up before, go ahead and press them on the back and hold it down. Now you get a pop-up where you can connect them directly without using the memory from your MacBook Pro. Go ahead and connect. You can set up Hey Siri if you didn't already. And even though it keeps the name, it's connected to this device. Now I'm gonna show you how to connect them to a Alexa speaker. Some of the features will not work, but they're good for listening to music. If you have your Amazon device set up and ready to go, go ahead and press on the Amazon Alexa app. Now you press on devices, press on echo, and find the Alexa device that you want to connect it to. 
Next, press on Bluetooth devices. Make sure the AirPods are in pair mode by pressing and hold down the back button for 10 seconds. Press pair a new device. Once it finds the AirPods, go ahead and press on it. And now it's ready to go. As a test, I'm gonna move these up to the microphone and see if you guys can hear it. In San Diego, it's 63 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies. Tonight's forecast calls for more of the same with a low and there you go. Here's the last one I'm gonna show you. This is how you connect the AirPods to the Google's home devices. Now keep in mind, if you open them up, they're gonna to try to connect to your phone, so you need to leave them shut throughout this process. The first thing you wanna do is choose which Google's home device that you wanna connect them to. Once you choose your device, hit the gear at the top of the screen. Now move down to the bottom, until you see default speaker. Go ahead and press on it. Now go ahead and press pair a Bluetooth speaker. Once it finds the AirPods, go ahead and press on it. And then press done. And that's it. The AirPods are now the default speaker for the Google Home unit that I just chose. So I hope this video helped you guys out connecting the AirPod 2s to those other devices. So if you like this kind of content, why don't you go and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.